Okay, now that we're out a little bit farther, you can actually see it on the map here. So again, we are at seed bed prep. It doesn't actually leave the same uh, texture as, say, the roller does for getting you a seed bed prep. But again, if you use this after some other form of tillage, which I don't know why you would, but if you did, everyone, you will end up with seed bed prep. Now, if you use this as your primary form of tillage, because again, keep in mind, everyone, the subsoiler counts as a plow. So if your field needs to be plowed, you can use this to plow your field, essentially. Uh, it will leave stubble tillage. Having trouble backing this up here. Nothing to us, see everyone. Uh, so again, if you were to use this right after harvest or right after mulching, which if you're following through the chain, everyone, you should probably use it after mulching, you will end up with stubble tillage here from the subsoiler. Subsoiler category here in Farming Simulator 22. Oh, I mean, there it is. Subsoilers. So again, there's a couple different uh, subsoilers here. Pretty much should all do the uh, same thing. Okay, well, just a little update here to add to this uh, video. Something I learned after uh, recording the video here. And that is about subsoilers. Apparently all the subsoilers in the game here are not created equal. Uh, depending on which subsoiler you get, everyone, some of them will do stubble tillage or a seed bed prep, depending on what uh, or where you use the cultivator. Others, everyone, will give you cultivated texture. So yeah, just a little bit, uh, a little bit confusing here. So anyway, we got uh, four different types of subsoilers over here, everyone. Uh, again, in the the uh, shop here, subsoilers. We got uh, one of the disco thingamajiggers. Uh, we got a combi plow three meter. We got a combi plow four meter. I did also try this one, by the way. Actually, you know what? This one is, that's that one actually. Yep, so we got that one right there. Uh, so yeah, we don't actually have that one. I did try this one, by the way. Uh, and then we also have the combi plow gold four meter as well as the Kuhn DC 401. Those are both on this one here. And interestingly enough, I mean, if you look at these, they look like they're identical. I mean, just ever so slightly different, slightly different spades on that one versus uh the coon right not much different however on this one uh this one definitely looks quite a bit different than the rest right it's got definitely got a lot more going on it's got some discs and some rollers and harrow and yeah a whole bunch of stuff going on there and then we got uh this one here which just appears to be the same as uh this one so anyway let's get in the track here one and uh, i got one in front and back let's see which one's gonna lower here that is the back one okay uh so if we use the coon here one the coon is giving a cultivated texture and uh, no matter what we do, Evan, it is going to give a cultivated texture on ground that's already been tilled or on ground that needs to be tilled right after, say, harvesting or mulching. It is going to give you a cultivated texture. Okay, let's raise that one back up. Let's go to the front one here now. Now, if we lower the front one down, everyone, we are getting seed bed prep. So we're now at seed bed here with this one. So yeah, if that's not confusing enough, Evan, you get seed bed with that one. Now, if you take this... Uh, to a field that has just been harvested or mulched, no other tillage has been done to it, you'll end up with stubble tillage from the cultivator on the front here, the subsoiler technically. Okay, next on the other two, everyone. Let's see, which one's going to lower? The front one. Okay, so I'll pull forward here just a little bit so you can see this a little bit better. Uh, if you lower the front one down, once it lowers down, Evan, uh, you can see we are getting cultivated texture. By the way, hopefully you can see the differences here in texture. It's not much, Evan, just slightly. But we are getting cultivated texture from this subsoiler. And again, Evan, no matter where or how you use it, you're going to end up with a cultivated texture. If you use it on ground that's already been harvested and mulched but needs some form of tillage, you'll get cultivated. If you use this on a field that has already been cultivated or plowed or subsoiled or seed bed prep, you're going to end up with a cultivated texture. So just keep that in mind. Now, raise that one back up, Owen. Go to the back one. Lower the back one down. And what are we getting? We are getting seed bed prep. Basically, essentially a shallow cultivator, right? Shallow cultivated texture, everyone. So again, on fields that have already been harvested and or mulched, it is going to give you stubble tillage. On fields that have already been worked up, it is going to give you seed bed prep. So, yeah, good luck with that one. Have fun with the confusion here. Uh, apparently, not all subsoils are created the same. How do you like that, everyone? 
So that begs the question, Evan, how many of these other ones are the same? And, uh, I mean, without like just going through and buying every single one and trying every one, I, I don't know. If you folks want to see that, we can definitely do that. Just like buy every single piece of uh, tillage equipment in that category and see what's what it actually does. We can do that. We'll do a video on that. But anyway, just wanted to point that out and add that to the video. And so with that, uh, moving on to the rest of the video here. Subsoil prepares the field for the next sowing. It can be used instead of a plow. Also, apparently that one puts down fertilizer. Cool. Anyway, moving on to the next uh, type of plow, shall we say. So there's basically three types of plows here in the game. Everyone. You have your plows, you have your subsoilers, and you have your spaders. Spaders also can count as plows. So if your field needs to be plowed, you can use a spader. And everyone, if you use it as your primary form of tillage, uh, it will leave a cultivated texture on the field. So there's the uh, cultivated texture. So the difference between the subsoiler and the spader one is the spader will leave cultivated. So there you can see it cultivated right there. So just to keep that in mind, that's the difference between the subsoiler and the spader here. And if we were to turn this around here and go over to the field next door here, this is a growing field. So for example, Over here, I mean, we're also getting the cultivated texture. So just uh, something to uh, keep in mind there. This is, I think, is probably one of the few items, Evan, that actually gives you like the same thing no matter what type of field it's on. Uh, if you're using it right after harvesting or mulching, uh, it will give you cultivated. Also, if you use it after some other form of tillage, it will still give you cultivated. So just uh, keep that in mind. That uh, is what the spader does. Again, it counts as a plow, leaves a cultivated texture. Moving on, everyone, to uh, what probably we consider our secondary forms of tillage here. Although cultivator, that might fall under primary. I'm not, it kind of depends how you look at this in the game, everyone. Uh, so next up is the cultivators. Now, one slightly confusing thing here in the game, everyone, there is two types of cultivators in the same category. So just keep that in mind. Uh, when you use a cultivator on a plowed ground everyone, it will leave a cultivated texture probably would have never guessed that one right uh, it will also produce uh, rocks by the way so there's your rocks also big rocks there actually uh, that's something worth mentioning everyone. Uh, different forms of cultivators plows will produce different sizes of rocks so there we go on a this is technically a planted field but if it was harvested I mean, it would leave the same same type of thing uh, another form of tillage oven that gives you the same type of tillage texture depending on what is on the field. So if you use this after mulching or harvesting, it will give you cultivated. If you use this as a secondary form of tillage, it will give you cultivated. And then in the shop here, everyone. So this is uh, what's a little bit confusing. In the shop, we have two types of cultivators. So again, we're in the cultivator category, everyone. But there's two different types of cultivators, and it splits right at this line right here between these two, the vector and the all-arounder. The vector, everyone, and everything before it is a cultivator. The all-arounder and everything after it, everyone, is a shallow cultivator. Don't ask me why Giants did this. Uh, seems like they should have broken this category up, if you ask me. I uh, did not realize this myself when I started playing the game. Oh, hey, cultivator. We'll grab a cultivator, right? Yeah. Watch which one you grab, everyone, because everything before this one is a cultivator. Everything after the all-arounder is a shallow cultivator. And shallow cultivators behave differently in the game than regular cultivators. Okay, moving on to another type of cultivator here, everyone. <laughs> yes, everyone, this is a rock picker. Um, I guess I didn't include that in my account of the different types of cultivators and tillage equipment, did I? But the reason I'm including this, everyone, yes, it is a rock picker, but it also counts as a cultivator. And the way the rocks in this game work, I mean, you pretty much have to, like, just run up and down the entire field picking up rocks. Because there's so many stinking rocks, I mean, just going from rock to rock just doesn't make sense. So you pretty much just end up throwing a hired worker on it and watching the hired worker go up and down the field. And you get your entire field cultivated that way. Mind you, it takes forever using what is essentially a 2.4 meter cultivator. But uh, how else are you going to do it, right? I mean, there's just, like I said, going from rock to rock is impractical. 
Uh, one thing to make note of, there are two different size rocks in the game here. Um, really hard to see in my opinion. But uh, this is supposed to be small rocks. Small rocks you can push down with the roller. So if you take the roller, it should push these rocks down on the ground. Then you have large rocks. Large rocks you have to use the rock picker for. Uh, cultivators, spaders, and let's see what's here. I'm missing one of these. I forget which one it is here, Gavin. Gavin produce large rocks. Uh, all the rest should be producing small rocks. Subsoil or plow? I think it was a subsoil, right? Subsoil produces large rocks. I believe that was the uh, three that produced large rocks there. So anyway, Gavin, that is the uh, the rock picker. There's not much for rock pickers in the game here. Just the three of them or stone pickers in the official category there. Next up, everyone. We have disc harrow. So this is a disc harrow. This counts as a shallow form of tillage, by the way. So the disc harrow, the shallow cultivators, which are under the cat cultivator category, and the power harrow pretty much all count as shallow tillage. Uh, with shallow tillage, everyone, if you cultivate or shallow tillage right after harvesting or mulching, you will end up with stubble tillage. So again, on the menu, everyone, we have a stubble tillage. So if you use it right after harvesting, you're going to end up with stubble tillage. Uh, if you use it after some other form of primary tillage, you're going to end up with seed bed prep. So just keep that in mind, everyone. Depending on what state you use this uh, form of cultivator in, you'll end up with different uh, possibilities on the field here. So if you were to, say, plow before using the shallow cultivator, you'll end up with seed bed prep. So if you have a field that needs to be plowed, everyone, you're probably best off using one of these plows. Probably the subsoil. It's a little bit wider, a little bit easier if you ask me. Use the subsoil and then you can follow up with your disc harrow or other form of shallow cultivator and you'll end up with seed bed prep. And We'll, we'll talk about the whole stubble tillage seed bed prep here in just a moment, everyone. Uh, we are we're, we're getting to that. Uh, so disc harrow category here in the game. There's actually quite a few to choose from here. A couple of good American pieces in here as well, I might add. Starting to see those uh, these a little more common here in the uh, States. So again, like I said, shallow little cultivator here. Disc Harrow will leave two forms of tillage on the plowed field here, everyone. Uh, it is going to leave us in the seed bed prep state. And they also can be pulled quite quickly, I might add. And they should also uh, produce small rocks. Shouldn't have any large rocks with this, by the way. Uh, now, there is one little bit of problem with this, everyone. Uh, we are at seedbed prep. You could technically plant this field and you'd be ready to be ready to go, right? Except you have the rocks. So once you're done with shallow cultivation, I mean, you almost probably want to run the roller back across this just to get rid of your rocks. Otherwise, you're going to have rocks in the field, at least if you're playing with rocks turned on, right? And that's going to be uh, bad on your equipment. Uh, does not affect yield in any sort of way, to my knowledge, by the way. Uh, it simply affects the repair of your equipment. Next up, everyone, we have the shallow cultivator. So again, this is a cultivator from the cultivator category. It's a shallow cultivator. Nope, not that one. Cultivator's there. The uh, Vodder Stott here. Like I said, it is a shallow cultivator. Shallow cultivator here does the same thing as the disc carol, so I won't bother demonstrating it. If you use the shallow cultivator right after harvest and or mulching, you will end up with stubble tillage. If you use this after some other form of primary tillage, i.e. plowing or cultivating, you'll end up with seedbed prep. However, just keep in mind, You'll still have stones, uh, small stones, as a result of using that tool. So that's the uh, shallow cultivator. Uh, next up, I'm going to kind of have this like separated out here just a little bit. Uh, we have the power harrows. Per the game, everyone, they are supposed to count as a cultivator. A cultivator, it says. However, uh, in my experience, everyone, from what I've seen, I'm going to call this a shallow cultivator because it does the same thing as the rest of the shallow cultivators. If you use this right after harvesting or after mulching, you will end up with stubble tillage. If you use this after another form of primary tillage, you'll end up with seed bed prep with rocks. <clears throat> Note, the rocks. <laughs> so anyway, just uh, make note of that. Uh, this can also uh, 
depending on which one you get, can be hooked up behind or in front of actually cedars as well, by the way. So you can like do one pass tillage and plant and all in one goodness there. Just uh, keep in mind, you'll probably want to do that on a plowed or cultivated field there. That way you can at least get yourself up to seed bed prep. So again, I'm going to on this uh, plowed field, you'll end up with seed bed prep here. And yes, look at all those lovely rocks in the field. You're right. This is why I was saying, everyone, when it comes to rocks, you pretty much have to just hire a worker and let the worker just go up and down the entire field because there's just so many stinking rocks. Hopefully that's something we'll see, by the way, that'll change here in Farming Simulator 22, everyone. Rocks are a little much, if you ask me, <laughs> by like quite a bit. Uh, speaking of all this information I'm giving you folks, keep in mind, we're still in the early days of Farming Simulator 22. Some of this might be subject to change. Uh, you know, at least for example, myself, I would not like to see this like change. Like, come on, really? Call that a cultivator? We got to cultivate our entire field that way. And that seems like something needs to be improved upon there. Okay. And then one final, not really a type of tillage, everyone. However, it is part of the lineup here, getting you to seed bed prep. So that's why I'm including it. And that everyone is the roller. So the roller will give you seed bed prep. It is also supposed to get rid of the small stones. Um, I've had mixed results with that, everyone. So let's just say good luck getting rid of stones with the roller. But if you take it to the small stones, and you can see everyone, we got uh, these are small stones. Do we, have, uh, do we have an example of large stones here? Yes, we did, right? Yeah, these are large. Let's go actually roll over those, everyone. Those stones, I believe, are large. And they should not disappear here. So again, you can see the rest of the small stones are disappearing. Uh, one thing to make note of, I, you know, I use the roller here. It is nigh on impossible to tell where you've planted. The uh, texture this roller leaves and the texture your planter leave, almost identical. Just one slight difference. So yeah, there you go. Yeah, you can see those are large rocks. Uh, those large rocks are not going to uh, go away here with the, the roller. So if you have a field of small rocks, everyone... You can just use a roller, in theory. Like I said, it hasn't always worked for me. But in theory, you can use the roller to get rid of the rocks. Now, when it comes to the roller, everyone, um, you can use the roller in several different, uh, after several different forms of tillage. Actually, pretty much after every single type of tillage, you can use the roller. So after plowing, everyone, if you plow your field initially, you can use the roller and you will get to seed bed prep. Uh, keep in mind, if you're using uh, like the spader here, which is supposed to produce large rocks, well, you're going to end up large rocks on the field. So you might want to address that first. Uh, if you use it after cultivating, everyone, you'll obviously uh, get seed bed prep. However, you'll end up with the rocks there as well. Um, you can use it after rock picking. That will get you seed bed prep and the rocks will be gone. Uh, same thing with our shallow cultivators, everyone. If you use it after shallow cultivating, you'll end up with a seed bed prep. So a lot of times what I do, Evan, assuming the field does not need to be plowed, you can take your shallow cultivator after mulching. So mulch the field first after harvesting, then take your shallow cultivator. You'll end up with stubble tillage. And then uh, once you're done with the stubble tillage, Evan, you can take your roller and roll the field and that will get you up to seed bed prep. And as long as you didn't end up with any large rocks, I mean, it should be able to uh, get rid of any rocks on the field, right? So that is what the purpose of the roller. Now, the roller oven is supposed to give you 5% yield bonus along with mulching. So if you mulch the residue after you're done harvesting, I mean, you're supposed to have a 5% bonus. And then after you're cultivating and you take your roller to it oven and get the seed bed prep, you're supposed to have another 5% yield bonus. Now, those numbers are a little bit debatable, everyone. It sounds like the real numbers are more like 2.5%. So you get 5% by combining both this and mulching. Uh, though per the help menu, I mean, Giants clearly states that improving yields, that you'll end up with 5%. Rollers for fields remove small stones and furthermore increase your yield by 5%. Using a mulcher on a stubble increases your yield by 5%. Lies. All lies. 
Uh, I think Giants is just trying to mess with our heads here or something. I mean, I, I don't know. But anyway, I think that's all the cultivators. Anything else left to discuss here? I probably missed something, everyone. But again, there's our rollers. Just two rollers to choose from. Spaders, subsoilers, power harrows, disc harrows. So again, I mean, like I said, several different forms of cultivators here in the game. Now, I actually kind of like this uh, upgrade myself, everyone. I always said Giants needed to add different types of cultivators here in the game for different purposes. So now we have different cultivators for different purposes, Evan, and that's kind of cool. So again, if your field needs to be plowed, you got three types of plows to choose from. And interestingly enough, the subsoiler and the power harrow will give you different textures on the field. Uh, then you have your cultivators, which I'm including the rock picker in this, Evan, because it cultivates and... Uh, if you got rocks, I'm going to need to pick up the rocks, and you're pretty much gonna, just going to end up going and down, up and down the entire field. Next up, you have your shallow cultivators, which i sort of including the power hair on that, but I've got it set off to the side. But essentially, I mean, you got three types of shallow cultivators. Again, Evan, if you're using these after harvest, you'll end up with stubble tillage. And then you'll probably still want to like roll it or do something after that, right? And then, of course, I've got your roller, which will get you up to seed bed prep and also takes care of small stones and rocks and all that uh, that good stuff. So anyway, again, everyone, thanks for watching. Uh, you have any comments or questions about all the different cultivators in the game here, everyone, the plows and all that good stuff, let me know. Throw them down in the comments there. Also, if you folks have anything to add to this, let me know. Throw them down in the comments there as well. So again, everyone, with that, thanks for watching and until uh, next time.